So we come to the next move. It's called uh, reinforcing the waves, or playing with the waves, or pushing the waves. Um, it's the 12th move of the 18 form Qigong sequence. Um, and we've done the eight brocade to the beginning, added eight, two forms together basically, an eight brocade, eight form at the beginning, with the 18 form at the end. So it's like 26 moves. This is the 12th move of the 18 form Qigong sequence, added onto the dates, that's the 20th move. Again, you can either do these in sequence or separately, as with each um, one we're doing, making a big thing of the breathing, so you can go in separately or in the form, doesn't really matter. So, as with all the Qigong sequences and moves, they help specific organs. So this one helps the kidneys, bladder, and the pericardium um, within the specific form traditionally. Okay, um, we're not gonna go down the traditional route. We're gonna add the yogic, Hypno yogic Pilates principles in there. Okay, so the breathing is going to be a mixture. So we're going to start off with the breathing. Again, nature's rule, not mine, just to find our balance before we start with the breathing. So, unlike the traditional way of breathing into the belly like a balloon, sort of Taoist breath as it were, we're going to go down the different path of zipping up pelvic floor, scooping out the abdominals and taking the navels towards the spine. Okay, and that's gonna make that more Pilates breath. That's gonna make us breathe into these lower lobes of lungs, the intercostals, the ribs. So as you do that now, zip up pelvic floor, scoop out your abdominals. Okay, and that's gonna naturally help us breathe into these lower lobes of lungs, the intercostals, the ribs, anywhere but the stomach. You can even get the two middle fingers touching to start off with. <clears throat> underneath the xiphoid process, the sternum, the breastbone, palms on the lower lobes of lungs, shoulders down. Breathing through the nose and exhale through pursed lips in the traditional Pilates way, okay? As you zip up pelvic floor and scoop out your abdominals. I'm gonna overemphasize this. You'll see these middle fingers coming apart and touching with the breath. Okay, so you'll see this sort of happening, like seaweed on the bottom of the seabed. Okay, the, the middle fingers will be slightly parted and then coming back to touch each other. Because as you zip up pelvic floor and scoop out your abdominals right now, as you do that right now, you'll feel that breath coming low and deep to these fish gills, 3D style, into these lower lobes of lungs, anywhere but the stomach. Breathing in and exhaling through pursed lips. As if you're sort of blowing out a candle through pursed lips, as you do that right now, you'll feel these two middle fingers slightly parting and coming out to touch each other, just adding width to the lungs and length to the out breath. Okay, following that breath in through the nose and exhaling through pursed lips. <clears throat> That's more Pilates breath. That helps us use our corset, our powerhouse, our girdle of strength, three layers deep which is segmentally stabilizing our spine, okay, and the pelvic floor and the corset in the most efficient manner, and helping us segmentally stabilize our spine in the most efficient manner, helping us breathe anywhere but the belly button, okay. So again, that's in short the Pilates breath, okay. Again, you go a lot more detail with that, but I'm not. That's gonna help us breathe into these lower lobes, the lungs, the intercostals, the ribs, anywhere but the stomach. So we can use the pelvic floor and the corset muscle, the transverse abdominus, the corset muscle, three layers deep in the most efficient manner, helping us breathe anywhere but the belly button. So with that, we're gonna slightly change that. So as you do that now, zip up pelvic floor still, scoop out your abdominals, that supports the spine in the Pilates manner. We're gonna breathe in through the nose and out through the nose now as we close the mouth. Okay, so it's gonna come slightly more yogic, okay? More sort of nearer Ashtanga breath in a way, but again, not gonna digress there. Again, so as you breathe in and out through the nose and still zip up pelvic floor, scoop out your abdominals, take the navel towards the spine right now, okay? As you do that, you'll feel the breath coming in and out through the nose now, slight change, and that's gonna help us lengthen the breath even longer. We know a lot of the yogic, Postures of sanas, 
you will lengthen the breath even longer and you'll breathe in and out through the nose. That filters the breath and makes it a little bit longer. That helps you get into the postures of your sanas even easier. Breathing through the nose and exhaling through the nose. So that's gonna lengthen the breath. Okay, now as you keep the mouth closed and that more yogic manner of the breathing, you'll naturally feel the out breath want to fall longer than the in breath. Okay, so just allow that to happen. Simply allow that to happen. That wheel of breath will naturally just want to fall longer on the out breath. So allow that to happen, okay, in a real natural manner. Okay, lovely. Now rather than the breath breathing you, you're going to breathe the breath. So you're going to come to the out breath and you're going to lengthen that out breath. Okay, focusly, sorry, consciously focus and take your mind to that out breath. Okay, and just lengthen that out breath. The in breath's conscious thought as you do that now. The out breath is subconscious thought. So by consciously elongating the out breath longer than the in breath, that's going to encourage sleep, digestion, rest, and relaxation to all be benefited by lengthening that out breath longer than the in breath. Okay, that's going to encourage, as you do that now, going to encourage the parasympathetic nervous system. All the things you don't seem to think about, sleep, digestion, rest, and relaxation, all benefited by lengthening that out breath longer than the in breath. Lovely. So we are going to calibrate and synchronize and integrate the breath with the Qigong motion. Don't get too caught up with the motion. Okay. Again, this should be this, this, and this. You know, there's there's forty thousand to a hundred thousand forms of Qigong. It's movement at the end of the day. So we're taking that and putting a Pilates set up. Don't get too caught up. It should be like this. If you should, you should all over yourself, as they say. So again, just don't judge it. Just it's movement. Breath synchronized motion. Vinyasa. Okay, in Sanskrit, uh, breath synchronized motion. Now. You can stick with that and just link that to motion, okay, that breath we've just done, or you can take it on a little bit further and make it slightly more advanced breath before we get into the motion, okay, optional. If you can't get it, don't worry, okay. If you can, great, just go with the breathing. So we're gonna go back into the breathing. So just keep on zipping up pelvic floor, scooping out your abdominals as you were, breathing through the nose and exhaling through the nose, but elongating that out breath longer than the in breath. Okay, just allow that to happen still. Now, if you want to take this to slightly more advanced breath, Ujjayi breath, victorious breath, okay, then you can do the same thing. You're going to breathe in through the nose. And you're going to grip at the esophagus. Okay, make that a little bit smaller and narrower. And you can hear that sound. Again, I'm going to do that a little bit overemphasize it so you can hear it. So it's a... And exhale. So as you grip it in the esophagus, that makes a sort of sign, whistling, silky breath, victorious breath, ujjayi breath. That stimulate the thymus gland, sorry, the thyroid gland, which helps with weight control, etc. Helps us build the heat within the body. Okay, helps us fan the fire, to burn all the toxins in the body. Okay. Ujjayi breath, victorious breath. So as you do that now, we'll do a few demonstrations. Breathing in. And exhaling. And as you'll feel, the, the breath is lengthened even longer by that small filter. Okay, that smaller filter for gripping the esophagus. Okay, and that give the mind something to focus on. It's really sort of focusing breath. Sometimes when you do a fine motor skill, you know, like thread and needle is a good example I always use. You sort of do a little bit of a sigh or banging a nail and something, you you do it without even thinking. It's a sighing, whistling, focusing breath. So it gives the mind something even more to focus on. Okay, be aware of the sound of the breath, the feel of the breath. It weaves that tapestry of relaxation within the body. Do a few more. That 
raspy sound. Again, you know, sort of Darth Vader breath in a way. Okay, it's like going ah, with a mouth shut. Lovely. So again, if you can't get that, don't worry. Just go for the first breath. It's slightly more advanced than Ujjayi breath. Seashore breath. Okay. Now again, we link it to a nice simple motion, pushing the wave. So again, one foot forward, you're gonna come forward and back, just rolling forward and back. I'm gonna go back so you get the feet in in a minute. So again, you're gonna come back and exhale. Now again, the foot's gonna dorsiflex and flatten out, okay? If it's too much on the knee, because you're straightening, locking out the knee, just a little bit, um, but you've got really bad knees, you might, you might wanna keep the foot flat on the ground, leave it out. Okay, same deal again, zip up pelvic floor, scoop out your abdominals, breathe in through the nose, and exhale. Nice simple motion. Just elongate the out breath for as long as you like, and simply start again, nothing set the motion. Okay, so it's a Okay, now again, if you want to go deeper, I'm going to go back and demonstrate. As you can see the legs, sideways on. See the foot's partially empty and filling. Keep it flat if that's any problems. If you want to go deeper, go deeper. But only as deep as you can relax and let go without even trying. Or try not to try. Breathing for the nose and exhaling for as long as you like. Zipping up, scooping out your abdominals, swap over the other leg, and keep that going. So again, breathing it in. Again, it can be an arc in motion, if you want to dorsiflex and take that foot up, you can do. And just breathe in and elongate the out breath. Nothing set the motion. Lovely. And again, that's going to massage the lower abdomen, squeeze the abdomen. And again, it's a real nice one, that. Um, and yeah, just only go as deep as you like. Make these unique to you. It's your union of your mind and body. So only make these as easy or hard as you like. You know, have you got any ailments and that? Just work around it. Like I said, you can either dorsiflex the foot or not. Um, and again, just let the tension out of the shoulders and just simply elongate the out breath longer than the in breath. Allow that simplicity to relax the mind. Lovely, brilliant. That was number 20 of the whole 26, the two forms together, the eight form, eight brocades and the 18 form Qigong sequence. Lovely, bang.